Good morning, everyone. I'm so happy, so excited. <laughs> Getting a wave here from Atilin, my ward mate. <laughs> it's day 12 of the government um, quarantine here at Luneta Field Hospital. I woke up relatively early today because I'm super excited to go home. Thanks, Nurse Jonah, for everything. Uh, so, so there, I'm just really happy. Um, even though I didn't get a lot of enough sleep, it doesn't matter. I'm just, I think we're just really excited. So, like what I mentioned, this is day 12 of my um, government quarantine here at the Lunetta Field Hospital. So, I wake up early. Um, I'm still in the process of finishing um, packing my stuff. Um, I've already signed the, um, the medical waiver. Um, earlier, um, I'll be getting the medical certificate, medical abstract, um, certificate of quarantine, as well as the SSS form um, today as part of my um, discharge. So I've checked again, discharge will be from 10 a.m. to 12 um, for, for the morning schedule and then two to four for the afternoon schedule so obviously I'll be taking the morning schedule if they have an early morning schedule I would have taken that so so there I'm I'm going to exercise after this quick exercise and then hit the showers so that I can completely finish um, packing my my stuff at around 8 30 or 9 um, they'll be getting my things um, for the for the UV light um, disinfection prior to um, prior to discharge, I want to make sure that all my stuff is ready um, because if it doesn't undergo the disinfection, then I won't be able to leave by um, ten and wait till um, and you know stay here up until the afternoon release uh, schedule. So. This is going to be the last day um, that I'll be vlogging. So one of the things that I've learned while in quarantine is this, vlogging. <laughs> I didn't realize how tough, um, how tough and difficult it is to, to vlog and record yourself and think of what, what to say um, on the spot. So, so there, um, I think beginners um, vlog unlocked no plans of you know uh, being a full-time vlogger because it's really hard so I don't think I have the the skills for it anyway um, since I'm leaving today and I'm really claiming it no one and nothing can stop me from leaving the facility today um, I've decided to share um, with all of you my key takeaways or top learnings from from my quarantine from my quarantine journey here at the Luneta Field Hospital this isn't gonna be long I've narrowed it down to my top three um, just so that I'll be forced to prioritize and really zero in on the top three things that struck me the most so the first one is um, don't take the the mundane for granted if there's one thing that I really learned in my stay here is that to be grateful for all that I have um, it never occurred to me uh, that access to warm food hot water um, sunlight um, fresh and natural air um, would be very very difficult or it's something that can be taken away from me so now that I've experienced not having sunlight um, fresh natural air um, warm hot food <laughs> not warm but hot food and uh, access to warm showers and hot coffee I know these are um, small luxuries in life that that I really, really value. So, so there, I realize that I should appreciate what I have more, no matter how 
big or how small it is. Um, so when I go home, the first thing that I'm gonna do is, of course, take a warm shower because for 12 days, we don't have access to warm water here. So, you know, it gets pretty chilly <laughs> um, taking a shower just with cold water. Um, I'll also be making coffee really hot like piping hot coffee because again the water here even though even though they can we can ask for hot water it's not really hot it's more like um, warm um, water so there those are the things that I'm really excited to do and of course open the window in the house and just look at the Sun and inhale <laughs> in, in, inhale the natural air so I'm really really excited um, to do those things um, so that's my first um, take the mundane do not take the mundane um, for granted second is um, be vulnerable I realize that it's okay for me not to be okay I don't have to be I don't have to be strong and brave and courageous all the time it's okay to be vulnerable it's okay to feel sad to be a little bit hysterical <laughs> um, to to kind of wallow in in despair but not a, not for a long time you know just um, probably for a few days so there and I realized it's okay to cry so there um, I tend to bottle up what I really think most especially what I feel and this whole experience made me realize being vulnerable isn't a sign of weakness being vulnerable is a sign that I am human and I accept my flaws and I trust that those people around me would accept me for who I am you know the good the bad and the um, ugly of course and last but not least um, part of my last key learning is that once again dear Evan Henson the musical saved the day um, most of you already know um, that 2020 was a really um, it was a really difficult it was a difficult year for me um, it I can't imagine I, I, I don't know how to explain it but it was a very difficult year um, I realized I needed help and I got help for myself so for quite a while I was undergoing um, psych therapy so I got myself a psychologist helping me deal with um, with my issues um, because of the pandemic so um, I was I was diagnosed with um, mild um, I was diagnosed with mild de depression um, I also had um, I also had crazy panic or anxiety um, attacks uh, and I was just you know it, I was severely uh, burned out and of course most of you um, knew this and again the well wishes the outpouring of uh, support calls and texts you guys are just excellent um, I've, I have the the best support group I guess in the world because of you guys uh, so apart from you accepting that I had to deal with some mental health um, concerns and just really being there for me and understanding what I'm going through meant a lot and dear Evan Hansen actually helped me as well so while I was going through that dark phase um, in my life the medieval the, that's what I refer to it as a medieval phase so I was undergoing the med well I was in the medieval era waving through a window actually helped me get through uh, my day if you guys are not familiar with it please do listen um, it's about how someone 
with anxiety sees the world when you have panic attacks so I, I felt I mean the song really resonated with me it was very relatable and it made me feel that I'm not the only one experiencing that you know so there um, and then I think I shared with you guys yesterday um, you will be found as my quarantine song that kind of helped me um, crack on um, every day uh, so there uh, tough three learnings don't take the mundane for granted be vulnerable it's not a sign of weakness it's a sign that you've accepted who you are and you're human um, and last but not the least uh, two songs and Evan Hansen um, have saved me waving through a window when I was uh, when I needed mental when I, when I needed help because I was struggling with my mental health and um, waving through a window as my ultimate quarantine song so thank you everyone for I keep on saying this all the time but thank you everyone for the well wishes for the prayers for the calls for the texts for for the care packages uh, thank you for being with me uh, on this journey uh, I really really appreciate it um, I'll, I'll upload another vlog on my way out just so that um, you know we'll end this together with the band bye everyone take care and stay safe